Hello, Geomatica, and today I would like to show you about how to make connection between PGAdmin Power SQL to the uh, QGIS 2.6.1. And when we look on the left hand side, we can see one symbol called uh, the elephant head, and click on it, and it is the PostGIS table. In this table, we can make connection between PGAdmin 3 and to our QGIS. The first thing that we gonna do is to click on the new and fill some information. It is about the name. We can fill what name? Of, we can fill the name of our connection. We can put the name whatever. For example, we can do everything. And for service, is not important at all. We keep it plain and put the host because it is a local host so we put lo local host and for the database the database here is the previous system it refers to the name of the, our database if we want to see our name of the database we can open pg admin and find what the database that we are going to make a connection for example, in here is data. I want to make the connection. For example, you can see you can see three databases: one that data and Postgres. So here in this tutorial, I'm going to make connection with that. So we enter the behavior called that, and for the username and the password is an account about is an account of the server that we already installed it when that we already set it when we install this program so it is for crash and the password so and we make a connection test to make sure that our information is right yes it's successful so show password it is your name and okay yeah no problem so after making the connection after making after fill some information you can click on the connect and here in the we can see public and tiger public is a camera and tiger is also a camera in our postgres actual in here you can see it it's a camera then we tiger and public is a four camera that we make it when we install the postgres actual so in the public here it called GOM multi point and here we can S O I D three two six four eight it defers to the coordinate system of our database of our data. So we can click it and click it. Yeah, congratulations we make a, a successful connection between it and we can download our data into our